Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. If you hear something off in the distance, I believe, I don't think I've ever had a chainsaw on this channel, but I believe I hear a chainsaw off in the distance. I don't know if it'll be picked up on my microphone though. Hopefully not, but if it does, you know what to do. Just deal with it. Um, I just got back from the dentist and the my dentist did a great job. He, he did it in record time. He did not have to give me a shot today which I was glad to uh, find out that we weren't going to go down that road. I hate it when he pulls that needle out and tries to hit that nerve about 50,000 times. Oh, it's, it's awful. I don't like going to the dentist. Okay, let's start this off. This is um, from PH, PhDJ Does Tweets. Uh, sent me this piece of information. Let's see, I think the old computer's um, doing pretty well today. I don't think we're going to have any problems. This is from XRP Researcher um, at XRP News underscore. Walmart's, and he, he's linking to his website. He's got a website called XRPRightNow.com if you want to go check this out. Walmart's money transfer is powered by Ripple. Walmart has over 11,766 stores. Walmart is powered by RIA, a Ripple partner. Walmart to World. He says Walmart to Walmart is powered by RIA, a Ripple partner. Walmart to World is powered by MoneyGram, XRP partner exclusively. That's very significant, folks. And that is something you all needed to know if you didn't know it now. But now you do. Um, XRP researcher also, he'd sent this. This guy's on fire today. Um, XRP right now, again, is his website. And this is an article on VitSaveN. Uh, remember, VitSaveN is has created the or is creating the Zoom app, which is basically the way it's been described. Is it's like having the, a bank on your phone. You don't need a bank. So this this was sent out today. Uh, Zoom is gaining momentum as it's set to launch a private developer only beta version. VitSay also reveals a new secret format address that that will make everyone's life easier. Now, as far as that format address, um, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work with what he's putting together. But what I have always envisioned, and I've always believed at some point, you and I, we will all have just some kind of simple username. And all of the digital assets that you want to buy will come in through that username. And maybe you'll have subcategories of all the, all the different digital assets, but you'll just send and receive to that username. And I think that's where they're going with this. Um, and then uh, Michael at VAL5 Links came in and he says, well, alrighty then. Wind is developing an app called Zoom that's designed to allow users to hold and spend euros, dollars, XRP, and other currencies without any help from a financial institution. Imagine what your life looks like when you're able to do that, folks. That's a game changer. Uh, I remember, I've told the story on this channel before, I remember going to, when I was younger, we went to, me and some guys went to Ireland and did nothing but drink Guinness for a week or two. But we went to Ireland, and I remember when you get off the plane, you immediately have to exchange your currency into another currency. Well, all of that is about to change, folks. No more currency exchanging and all that business. You're not going to need to. But we, we are going into some fascinating times, I can tell you that. XRP Crypto Wolf. The Dallas Mavericks have become the second NBA team to accept Bitcoin as a means of payment for, for match tickets. Merchandise and the Sacramento Kings were the first. Um, billionaire Mark Cuban, da 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 da. So, Mark Cuban, who owns the Dallas Mavericks, um, is going to accept Bitcoin at their, um, at their games now. Interesting stuff. I don't know if they accept them. Maybe they accept them at their merchandise store as well, or maybe it's just the merchandise store. Oh, well. Okay. I wanted to give, uh, tell everybody to go and give Boo Boo a follow. This is um, at XRP Boo Boo. She says, okay, I need the community, XRP community's help and all my friends outside. 
I'm going to the Manchester meet on 7th of September and would love to be able to interview and, and stream live Wilts there. But I need another 750 subscribers. Will you subscribe to my channel? Now, I think what she's talking about, I don't do live streams, but I believe you have to, I believe the way it works is you have to have at least um, 11, 1,000 subscribers to be able to live stream. And so her channel is XRP Boo Boo on, um, on YouTube. So go give her a subscribe and try to help her out. She, the meetup, I think that she's referring to, I think BitTrue is doing a meetup um, in Manchester. I believe that's what that is. And I've said before on here, the only thing I know about Manchester, well, I know two things. I know that they have, they are into football, and I know that Morrissey was uh, lives there or was born there. I was a big The Smiths Morrissey fan back in the day. Um, okay, but go give her a subscribe so that she can do a live stream there. Um, okay, from C3 Nick, I thought this was an interesting train of thought. I wonder how much of the recent selling pressure on XRP can be attributed to people buying MoneyGram stock. So let's make this poll. Did you sell XRP or allocate funds which were meant to be put in XRP in order to buy MoneyGram stock instead? Well, I, I actually thought about buying some MoneyGram stock, but the thought of selling XRP to do, do so never crossed my mind. That's why I answered no to this poll. Um, the thought of selling XRP for anything doesn't cross my mind. Um, I've, I've seen enough. I tell you all the time on here. I've seen enough and um, I've heard enough things, just different things behind the scenes and seen enough on Twitter and heard enough from other YouTube channels. You couldn't pull my XRP. You couldn't pry it out of my hands. Um, that's my position on that. Okay. Now, this, this whole SEC story is... <laughs> It's like every two or three months, every time you anything good happens for Ripple or XRP, like for instance, Ripple announcing that MoneyGram is their partner now and the whole purpose is to deploy XRP. In my opinion, what happens is this freaks out. All of the Bitcoin maximalists like Tone Vase, he's the guy who attacked, um, in this case, who attacked um, XRP and he's trying to, he's trying to scare people, F typical FUD stuff. Well, every time one of them does this, they do it normally in response to someone, um, and it's normally done in, in a response to some really good thing that's going on with Ripple or XRP. In this case, you've got Bitcoin over here, who, who, which is completely useless, has no utility, so they call it a store of value because it has no to, utility, and they know it has no utility. And over here, you've got XRP, which technologically is better in all respects than Bitcoin. XRP could even be a store of value if, the, if that's what we wanted to do. Why, I'll just give you an example. If I can put, if I can store my, my value in XRP or I can store it in Bitcoin, and then when I'm ready to move it, I can move it in three to four seconds with XRP to wherever I want to go, or I can move it in 30 minutes to four hours with Bitcoin, which one's a better store of value to you? <laughs> because there, there is nothing, there's nothing different in terms of the storing it. I have XRP stored on a Ledger Nano S. I have Bitcoin stored on a Ledger Nano S. What is that? What's the difference? There is no difference. Um, so it freaks them out. Anytime they see something that could catapult, because remember, the worst nightmare of the Bitcoin maxis, and I'm not saying all Bitcoin people. In fact, I'm like Brad Garlinghouse. I'm, I'm pro Bitcoin. I am. I'm bullish on Bitcoin, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to respond when someone bashes XRP because they're only Bitcoin. Um, so, um, but but here, this is what's happened basically here, and this is from Bond Crip. The never-ending story, SEC guidance gives ammo to lawsuit claiming XRP is unregistered security. And then um, here, you have this from XR, um, at X Big Time. SEC is bringing Thor's hammer against Ripple, warns Tone Vase. All right, so basically, what all that's happened is you already had an existing lawsuit, and by the way, anybody can sue anybody. That doesn't, just because you sue someone does not mean that you're going to win, and it doesn't mean that your lawsuit is valid in any form or fashion. Uh, in fact, in the world, we have a lawsuit problem right now where you have all sorts of frivolous lawsuits all the time. And until something is done about that, you're, you're, it's going to be a mess. Well, in this particular case, 
this lawsuit was brought by someone who had lost a few bucks, more or less, and and more or less, it's completely ridiculous. Well, anyway, so this um, this article basically says is Tone Vase, and he's t he's telling me, oh, Ripple's in big trouble, and then I saw other people say Ripple's in big trouble. Well, actually, all that's been done in this lawsuit here is a, a lawsuit that was already on the table. They they um, they made some kind of an amendment, and and. The only reason they made the amendment is because as the SEC had come out with some guidance on cryptocurrencies. Well, we covered it back when the guidance came out. It was actually um, it, it was something that in in no way hurt XRP because the guidance itself what uh, made it made XRP even look less like a security. Well, they're just piggybacking on. They've tried to find some one little thing that they could spin as oh, well, this is an addition. This helps our case. And it's complete BS. And so Tone Vase, anytime he finds any uh, chance that he can try to pounce on on Ripple um, or XRP, he does so. And so he does. He says that the SEC is bringing Thor's hammer. Well, anybody who's been following Ripple or uh, or the SEC or XRP having on this topic for any period of time, it that says something like this, the SEC is bringing Thor's hammer, has a complete lack of understanding about all that Ripple has been doing over the last seven years to go out of their way to work with every regulatory body on the planet, which is the exact opposite of what Bitcoin has done because A, Bitcoin has no leader. Bitcoin is just this thing that's out there and it's and the guys like Tone Vase, um, all of them are looking for to, to replace the government is more their stance. And that is the reason they're so terrified. They are terrified of XRP. Just like Western Union, I said yesterday, they should be terrified of XRP and now MoneyGram. These guys, it, it makes me laugh when they say this, but I, I threw one back um, for Tone Vase um, and said, one simple reason for the XRP SEC FUD. XRP's utility, it can actually be used, folks. XRP's utility is about to bring the Thanos snap to Bitcoin's store of value and no utility. <laughs> and so, and it's true. The bottom line is they call it a store of value because it has no utility, because the tech is already old and it's not fast, it's, it takes too much time. The network gets congested anytime the markets start going crazy and they know it and that's why XRP is the great terror to all these Bitcoin guys. But again, and I'll say it again, I want Bitcoin to do well. I own some Bitcoin. I want it to do well, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to tell the truth whenever whenever someone says this kind of BS. <laughs> I mean, it's like, please. Um, I think, you know what, I think one of the the greatest things about being an XRP owner is right now is because at some point this this whole SEC thing and and make no mistake this thing was floated out there by anti XRP anti ripple people that are bit Bitcoin maximalists it was it was literally floated in fact I've said this before on the channel a few uh, back in 2018 some former SEC official literally came out of retirement just to walk to a microphone and say, well, I think that I, I feel like Ethereum and, and Bitcoin are not securities, but I think XRP is. And then we never saw the guy again. The guy's back in retirement. It was orchestrated, folks. That's how this is. We're in a, in a literal war. We don't have to be. I own Bitcoin and XRP. We don't have to be in a war, but these people keep bringing this stuff back up. Okay, from Chinu Patel at Chinu Patel 29, several good tweets. The UK yield curve inverted for the first time since the financial crisis. The stock market is down 583 points, by the way, right now. And next, Bank of America says stocks are on borrowed time once the spread between the two and the 10 year treasury yields invert. Exactly. Rhythm Trader, the government's logic, 2008 global financial crisis, Venezuela hyperinflation, Argentina nearing default, negative interest rates, quantitative easing, easing, economy slowing, low bond yields, record U.S. debt, currency wars, trade wars, 
Bitcoin is only good for criminals. <laughs> yeah, that is the government's logic. And then Rhythm Trader, 2017 bull run, retail hype, 2019 bull run, retail hype, largest retailers, uh, retailers accepting, largest custodian storing, largest firms trading, largest fu funds investing, largest media covering, largest government fighting. Which Bitcoin run do you think will be bigger? Folks, I'm here to tell you, when this sentiment, see, we've got all the the on-ramps and the off-ramps and all the all the pipes are ready to be filled. When the sentiment really shifts, the way it shifted back in 2017, what you're going to see is going to, 2017 is going to be a big fat joke compared to the next one. Okay, Michael at VAL5 Links. I wanted to cover this. I haven't talked about Cardano in a while. Charles Hoskinson, co-founder of Ethereum Network and current CEO of IOHK, has announced that IOHK created Project Cardano is rolling out version 1.6 within a few days time. Now folks, I've told you, all I own, I did own a little bit of BTR, but I, I converted that into XRP. All I own is Bitcoin, XRP, and Cardano. I believe that, that Ethereum has problems. I believe Cardano is going to become the smart contract platform which is why I want to show you this. In all the times I've been car, um, covering Cardano, I've never been able to show you one specific piece of news that shows you what could potentially happen very soon. And now I can show you. In this article, go down to here. Now, I had, maybe I missed this. A new project for Hoskinson. As previously reported by Cointelegraph, Hoskinson announced during the blockchain conference consensus 2019, he would be working on a, pro a new project with security token platform Polymath. The project is called Polymesh and is reportedly an attempt to create a blockchain for tokens centered on meeting regulatory requ requirements. Um, and they've literally on Polymath's website, we just announced the Polymesh initiative with Charles Hoskinson. And so Charles Hoskinson is literally working with Polymath now, and these guys are a security token platform. <laughs> if you see some of these big fish like this begin to tokenize assets and start to use the Cardano platform, it is on like Donkey Kong. I am the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that the digital asset investor does own Cardano. That is my smart coin, smart coin platform token. That is my choice. Thank you for listening.